Oh boy. Yo, Cole. Hey, should I get this on camera too? Hey! Come on, dude. You know I can't go when people are watching. Seriously. What? Don't you dare do it. <laughs> Not cool, man. Picked in a call from the brickyard. Yeah, you wouldn't need to drive like a maniac if you weren't taking selfies with every prop in Graceland, man. Come on, man. We had to stop there. You gotta respect the king. Yeah. <laughs> I respect getting the check in on time. Come on, they close down in 10 minutes. Pushy, pushy. Someone's a worry wart. Wait, D. Let me get us together under this banner before they take it down. D, come on. I got four whole people watching. Look, we gotta go. We'll, we'll do it another time. He's taking it down. There's... It's not gonna be another time. Dang, man. Y'all better hurry up. I'm finna close down. Sorry. Sorry, man. See, I told you we had to hurry. Jeez, get someone somewhere on time and still find a way to complain. <laughs> Just sign right here, and then you go get your equipment. <clears throat> what about you, Scorsese? Ooh, Scorsese. See, she gets me. <laughs> Is a friend of yours? Unfortunately. I am his wide receiver. Honey, you got a screw loose. <laughs> she does get you. Oh, got another heart. We're on fire. Regional and Super Regional Combine. Hello, and welcome. I want to say right away that this is world-class athletics, gentlemen. In five years, we've only had 156 players out of 2,200, make it to the NFL. That being said, you have an opportunity today to impress scouts from all 32 NFL teams. You ready to beat the odds? From this moment on, you're being evaluated. You know, folks refer to you guys as long shots. You all right? I can't hold on to a thing. Hey, keep your head up. You know, maybe if you were throwing at me, I could make a play. Next up. I can't switch places. Oh, come on, D. I need this. Hey, I just can't, man. Son, are you here to play or to gab? Get back in line. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Heard you, uh, you're in the Middle East or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah? You still got them happy feet? <laughs> happy feet? What are you talking about, man? You sacked them, like, what, once in high school? <laughs> hey, no disrespect, man. I give mad props to anyone who give your boy here a full ride. Come on, dude. Anyways, I played fast. But them scouts are always talking trash on my size. You know what I'm saying. OK, man, what's your problem? No, let's, let's get out of here, man. Come on. Man, I had those drops early. And now he's saying I'm too small. I mean, if he's thinking it, then the scouts definitely are. <laughs> man, don't listen to Mario. He's an idiot. Always has been. I know. But is he right? Look, dude, you were great. OK, you had one of the best 40 times of the day. Yeah, but not as fast as I needed to be. Devin Ward. Uh... Welcome to Longshot. Ah, thank you. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you back up a bit? Oh, you'll get used to that. Yeah, I ain't so sure. Oh, you will. Let's get you settled. Okay. Devin, welcome to the play calling assessment. An NFL quarterback must be able to call plays in the huddle. And I'm here to see if you have the ability to pull that off. 
When I worked with Big Ben, it was like he knew what I was going to call even before I called it. And that's one reason that he's so successful. Now, here's how it works. I'll call a play into your headset, and you have to call the play back to me in the correct order. Now, your ability to remember these plays will have a big impact on whether or not you stay on the show. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Strong eye twins, flex dagger, X dig, Y shallow, Z go. What's the first part of the play? Strong eye twins. Nice job. What's the next portion? Flex dagger. Good. Next. X dig. Next. Y shallow. Finally. Z go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Single back, ace pair. Y stick, X slant, Z go, U flat. What's first? Single back, ace, pair. Great, next. Y stick. Yep, keep going. X slant. Next. Z go. Finally. U flat. Keep it up. Gun bunch weak, double trail. X go, Y dig, Z shallow. All right, last play. What's the first section? Gun bunch weak. Excellent. What's next? Double trail. Yep. X go. And? Y dig. Lastly, Z shallow. Well done, Devin. Good work. Well, that's the end of the play call assessment, and you did about as well as I expected you to. If I were you, I'd get ready for the next challenge. Devin, have a seat. It's time for the football IQ assessment. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions that I'd expect any NFL quarterback prospect to know. You ready? What position is highlighted on the screen? Uh, safety. Good. Who's your hot receiver on this? He's right there. OK. What personnel are we in on this play? Oh, it's 22. I see. Well, there's not much of a surprise there. Head out to the practice field. We'll take a look at you out there. It's not about who's the better player. It's about who will make a better show. I'm sorry, I... I'll be on set in five minutes, but you keep that lunatic away from me. We're almost ready for you guys. No offense, but what's a holdup? Be the best man win. Yeah, I'll watch him be the long shot. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, baby! Okay. Oh. Okay, come on, that's, that's enough. That's enough. I know you can do it, Dad. We're the long shots, baby! We're the long shots! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's take a look back at Devin Wade's long shot journey. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, hey good luck, man. I guess by intangibles, they mean dead parents, huh? Good luck. We made it this far, but don't get too comfortable. More than a big arm, it's being an F1 quarterback. It's more of a real work against. Yes, sir, Cole. And in assuming that you know defensive and offensive formations since you played high school football in Texas? Of course. You sure? Let's find out. Now, what formation is that offense in? Single back. Of course it is. You had me worried for a minute. Let's move on. Now, where's the safety in this formation? He's right there. Good. You're going to need to be able to identify the safety on every play once you step foot on the field. Well, I've seen enough for this morning. Let's meet back up this afternoon on the practice field. The coach just held up little pictures on the sideline telling me what to do. Same idea. Except in the NFL, it's more involved. You think of it as a recipe for an entire offense. One word gives you the formation to line up in. Another one tells a receiver which route to run. It's as simple as that. OK, that doesn't seem so hard. Where it gets hard is when these play names become long and complicated. So I'm going to give you a play, and I want you to repeat it back to me in the same way that you would deliver it in the huddle during a game. OK. OK, ready? Let's go with I pro bench. X out. Z post. Y option. Wait, what? Hold on. It's easy. Start with the first word that's usually the formation in most systems. I pro. Good. The next part is usually the name of the play concept. This tells everyone what their responsibilities are. The line, tight end, etc. Bench. Right. That tells everybody what to do. X out. Right. That tells that receiver to run an out route. Z post. Z post is correct. What does that mean? Right side receiver runs a post. Good. Typically, the receivers on a player labeled X, Y, and Z. X is on the left, Z is on the right, and Y lines up somewhere in between them. OK? Last one. Y option. Great. You just called your first play. Hopefully, it won't be your last. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny, Wade. You have to get this stuff down, or you have no shot after this show. Focus. OK, Coach, thanks. Okay, Devin, I feel like we made some strides early, but things started to fall apart when we got to the matchups and the adjustments you need to make. It's just so much being thrown at me at once. I mean, one minute I'm calling plays, the next I got five seconds to look up every matchup on the field. I, I can't do it. I yes, you can. Hey, listen, I'm here, buddy. I'm gonna help old Jack here figure out a way to get through to you. <laughs> when have I ever let you down? Yeah. All right, let's go back to matchups. And this time, we're going to factor in down and distance, which you admittedly struggled with at UT. Yeah. 
All right, second and one at midfield, tied in the fourth quarter. What's the defense expect us to do here? Run the ball? Yeah, simple, right? Second and short after a nice game, they're expecting us to run the ball, pick up the first down, keep the drive going. So now that we know that they're expecting us to run, well, what can we do to exploit that? Throw, throw a pass? Are you sure? Yeah, it'd be the perfect time to hit them with a play-action pass. Yeah, see, you're lined up in a formation that teams run out of all the time, so the defense won't be expecting it. You can fake the run, hit him for a big gain on that pass play. Okay. some simple reads off defenders. So let's focus, get some good work in. All right, let's start out slow. Instead of reading the entire field like I've been expecting you to do, we're only gonna focus on one side of the field. Now, in this situation, you only have to worry about Colt and the tight end. Ignore every other player on the field. Now, the tight end is gonna be running an out route to the sideline. I'm gonna be running a curl. You only have to make one read on this play. When the tight end runs his route, is he covered by the linebacker? If he is, you throw it to Colt. If he's not, then you throw it to the tight end. Simple, right? That's it? Yep. Just one read. All right, let's go. See? Great read. OK, now we got a safety back there, and the corner's still covering Cole. Just need to make one read here, D. We know the corner's in zone because... He's facing the middle of the field. Good. Now we're going to attack that safety, make him cover one of our receivers. And when he does it, cover should be open, right? Got it. Ready? cornerback on this play. One simple read again. The slot receiver is going to be running a deep corner route to the sideline. If the cornerback covers him, that should leave me open on the curl. If the cornerback covers me, the slot receiver should be open. Make sense? I think so, yeah. That's just another example of a matchup mismatch. We're exposing the truth by forcing one of the defenders to show us who he's covering. And then we make the defense pay for it by throwing it to the guy who's wide open. All off one read. All right, let's take a break. I think we're finally making some great progress. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Jack, 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 Jack! You know what? You're fired! What? Yeah, that's right. Lock the door when you leave, too, because WizKid Jr. here is not going anywhere. Devin, let's go. Is everything cool in here? Oh, it is now. Suit up, little man, because you're taking Devin's spot in tomorrow's game. Uh, I'm a wide receiver. I always knew there was something off about you. Fine! <laughs> Get me Smizniak. Get me Smith. R Rhonda, hello? Hello? Oh, this thing's not even plugged in! Calm down. Calm down? You're fired! What? You can't do that. I just did. We're out of here. Jack Ford was right about you. He said you were a loser! In case you were wondering. Guys. Guys. Hey, hey, guys. Come on. I didn't mean what I said. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. Come on. 
Hey. Hey! You two nobodies better be back here in two hours, and somebody better be on that frickin' field! Or I'm gonna... I will... Ah! <laughs> Get me Smithniak! Devin. 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 I took you off the scrap heap, okay? It's because of me. Every scout out there knows your name. All along, I've been the ally that you never knew you had. Devin, I know what the coaches want, and you don't owe Ross anything. These guys may know the coaches, but I know the owners. Owners? It won't matter if he makes you look like a distraction instead of the talent that you are. Devin, Devin, please, 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 please. I'm begging you, please. I have a house. I have uh, children, ex-wives. I'd feel more comfortable if it was Julia. Uh, oh. And it's done. Security. <laughs> They'll be up shortly to escort you out. You short-sighted moron! Hey, back off. Hey, you didn't care about me. I cared about you. So? That's how it works outside of Bumpkin Town, USA. You, you, <laughs> buffoon! I'm taking my picture, and I don't want it now. Who found that guy? <sighs> Did you Devin, I love the show, and I gotta tell you, the last episode, when I found out you were a military guy, I was fired up for you. But it is not the traditional method of getting to the National Football League. So here's my first question, kid. How does a five-star college player quit and join the Army? You know, after everything that happened in UT, uh, me falling apart, um, you know, my dad had died. You know, as you can imagine, it was, a, it was a very difficult time for me. You add to that the embarrassment of how I left UT, you know, in the media. <laughs> You know, the media was all over me. You know, all I wanted to do was to, you know, go where no one knew my name and, and no one cared about football. I guess I, uh, I guess I found my escape in the Army. I didn't have some big heroic reason to go, nor am I a hero in any way. I, uh, I met a lot of heroes in my time in the Middle East. You know, it's a life choice and you made it. And I have a lot of respect for you. But on the other side of the coin, if you had a chance to do it all over again, what would you do? <laughs> if I could do it all over again. It's hindsight, but uh, you know, I would have walked up to my coach and said, hey, I'm, I'm struggling. You know, can I just have some time to, to work this thing out? You know, but I, at the time, I didn't want to show I was weak. And the only person in my mind who, who could have got me through it, you know, my dad, was, uh, was gone. Well, I gotta tell you, Devin, that hits me pretty hard personally because my father coached me growing up and I cherish those moments with my father. And I gotta believe now that you're more mature, you're able to draw from those moments and make you a stronger person. And I also gotta tell you this, when you think about Captain McCarthy, I gotta believe he had a big hand in getting you from there to here. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Captain, Captain McCarthy helped me find my love for football again. I mean, just simply throwing a football around. You know, no, no loud crowds, no, uh, no cameras, no critiques from the media. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, just simple, like playing in the front yard. Amazing stuff, but I didn't exactly hear a Ross Fountain shout out right there. <laughs> and you won't. I love it. Devin, it's time to talk to you about the Legends game. You're gonna be on a football field with a bunch of NFL veterans. It's an environment you've never been in before. Yeah, true. You might be way over your head, but guess what? It's gonna decide if you're drafted or not. I want your reaction and how you feel about the pressure of that game. I mean, it feels good to have gotten this far. I mean, even better to be lining up against these guys that I watch play. You know, and I got my boy Colt with me, so, you know, but, you know, all in all, I'm willing, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, man. If they tell me I gotta walk across a hot bit of coals wearing nothing but a football helmet, like, I'll do it. <laughs> That's where I'm at. 
Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> you know, next thing on my mind is this TV show. You know how you got here, Devin? You got here because you're a TV star. Um, I have questions, and my question is this to you. Are you just a TV star, or are you really a football player? You know, the truth is I want to play pro football. You know, it's been a long road, but I, I caught a big break, you know, being invited to be on Long Shot. And if people want to people wanna hate on me for that, man, I guess that's what Twitter's for. Well, for long shot, you were competing against Mike Schmizniak. <laughs> Admit it, he came off like a pompous jerk, and you wanted to crush him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Mike's a good guy. Maybe he was just uh, having a bad set of days. Oh, come on, Devin. That's a political answer. You were winning me over until I started hearing that kind of stuff. Well, let's get you out of here with this. If you had the opportunity to pick any NFL team, which would you pick? Oh, I'll play for anybody. Oh, no. There you go again, Dev. How about we start here? What was your favorite team growing up? Oh, well, I can definitely answer that. I always loved the Titans. Now, that wasn't very hard. Now you got yourself back on track. Devin, I can't thank you enough for being here. I wish you all the luck in the world. You've been a great guest today. But look, thank you guys for having me. I mean, I, I, I watch your show like every day. So I, I really appreciate it. Jim, I'm getting the feeling he's winning you over. Uh, you got it, Pat. That young man has won me over. I think he's going to be fantastic in the league. I like his arm, and I like his attitude. And we're clear. Oh, my that goodness. That was fabulous. Wow. Can you believe that? You did really well. Wow, I couldn't have done without you. Thank you so much. Ready for the next one, huh? Yeah, let's do it. That's right. <laughs> Not great now, it's raining. Hey, let me guess. 30 15. Yeah, come on. What, did they fly in Oregon Ducks uniforms for this challenge, too? Come on. I hope not. D. You just calm down, okay? You spent the last six months getting over that night, and I know you have. Now you just have to show millions of people at home that you have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go. So here we go, challenge number five, and the raindrops starting to fall. And this is a little eerie. I'm thinking it, I know you are, and I know most people are. This is becoming very reminiscent of that game against Oregon, his final game at UT. You're exactly right. Now that it's starting to come down, that inclement weather is going to either get into his head or he gets out of his head because that last pass he threw that actually counted this exact situation, this exact scenario, he's got to defeat that in order to win this challenge. One play here. Can Devin Wade finally put the demons to rest that have haunted him for the last four years? Let's just get out of the half. Keep it simple. If it's not there, don't force it. Good. Hey, yo, D, we need this. I can beat my guy D. Cold is not the play, man. I know, but if we don't show something here, we might be sitting. On, you wanted to dedicate this game to your dad. Let's do it for him. Let's go. I'll be open. No matter what happens, we're proud of you both. You can't defend a perfect pass. You know what? There's no such thing as always a safe bet. Throws to Forsett, is going to be, no, wait, he gets free. Forsett with some room. Hey, why aren't you smiling? You made the right decision. That check down's exactly what you're supposed to do on that play. Congratulations. Hey, you know I would have caught that ball, right? <laughs> no, you did the right thing. I'm proud of you, Dev. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, what are you guys waiting for? Get out there. There's still time on the clock. Okay, what are we going to run? Whatever you want. You earned it. And with the 28th pick of the seventh round, the Baltimore Ravens select Monty Dugans, cornerback, Florida State. 
It's not gonna happen. Jets no, it is going clock. to happen. Just After trust me, D. There are only four so picks left. Yeah, but three of those teams need a QB. See? I told you. To oh, never mind. It's just geese. Basically, they kept their just draft kidding. <laughs> Give me that. Hello, this is Devin Wade. Yes, sir. No. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Thank, thank you. Who was it? Actually, they pick is in. Excuse me, may I have this one? I, I don't ordinarily do this, but this one is pretty personal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with the 29th pick in the seventh round of the NFL draft, the Tennessee Titans select. Yes, he made it, folks. From long shot, Devin Wade. Quarterback. No! I told you. I told you, boy. I told you. <laughs> oh man. I just can't believe this. Oh. So proud, he Dev. Yeah, man. Woo. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we know a lot of teams kicked the tires on Devin Wade, but that connection, the long shot, probably scared a few teams off. We know it'll be an uphill battle, but for now, he's on an NFL roster, and that was something that seemed unimaginable just a few months ago. I think it makes a lot of sense. We most of us expected they would take a quarterback. <laughs> so I told you, now. man. Yes. All right. Now. Your daddy is going to be so proud. <sighs> yeah, I think so, too. You did it, Dev. You did it. Let's celebrate. Come on, man. <sighs> With the 30th pick of the seventh round of the NFL draft, Baltimore Ravens select. Cocoos. Oh, I love this kid's name. Wolverine Justice. Linebacker, University yeah, of Michigan. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Really gifted. He's got a long way to go with core strength and learning how to play the game, but he's got some upside. And I like hey, man, there's still two picks left. Come on. At least one of us made it. All right, that's what counts. And with the 31st pick of the seventh round, the Seattle Seahawks select DeAndre Poole, defensive back, UCF. Yeah. Okay. That's a position of need. That's okay. Hey, hey. Dude, lots of guys get signed after the draft, man. Somebody's gonna call. Dev, come on, man. It's your moment, okay? Enjoy it. Thanks, brother. Yes, sir. All right, man, I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. Devin, tell us what you're feeling right now. <laughs> Just trying to stay in the moment. <laughs> Listen, we've all seen this story before. This kid comes from nowhere, this crazy story, but yet here he is, landing himself with the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. But now what happens? Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle all the things that go with this? And does this become the stepping stone for the next chapter of his life? That's what I can't wait to see. <laughs> 